Hi, what's happening, crew? It's Feature Tuesday, episode 220. My name's the MC Jack. And once again, here in the motor, doing the Feature Tuesday. Only difference is this week, for the first time in probably about three and a half years, out of the four years that Feature Tuesday has been running, I ain't got no vids from the week. There's a reason for that. So I need no vids from the week this week. All I want to do is come here. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the random people. A few people that watch this every week. Um, and I just want to say, if you're out there and you haven't seen my post, um, I'm doing a giveaway. It's a rave t-shirt that I was given by Kat from Charlie's Beats. She gave me the t-shirt in January at a radio show event that we played. Um, and I'm giving it away on my Facebook page. Now, if you're here and you're watching this, chances are you're on my Facebook anyway, so jump on there. There's loads of people getting involved in the post. Um, <laughs> I've been inundated this afternoon and this evening with offers from promoters and artists and ravers and people that just want to help and they want to be part of this and they want to get involved. And there's people all over the place saying that they're going to chuck me stuff to give away in this competition as well. So now it's... It sort of snowballed. It started off as just giving away my T-shirt that I was going to sign and write a personal message on there. Um, literally doing it as a raffle, so people pick a number from 1 to 50. And then all I do is pull the name out of a hat. The only condition of being entered into this raffle and getting yourself a number on the competition is to donate to Sean and Tatiana's sponsorship pages. Because Sean and Tatiana fucking fair play to them they're throwing themselves out of an aeroplane mate i put up a competition to win a t-shirt they're throwing themselves out of a fucking plane <laughs> like i've done it yeah i've been there and done it before i've done it in ada magpass which is um a road charity basically they they do first response and they um respond to accidents and stuff it was something that helped my dad because my dad's a driving instructor so many years ago now about five six years maybe seven years ago now me and all my family jumped out of an aeroplane, the native Magpass. So I know what it's like. I know how scary this shit is. I know how mad it is thinking, oh, I'm going to fucking jump out of an aeroplane, bro. Um, so fair play to Sean, fair play to Tatiana for actually seeing this through and doing it. They have raised a hell of a lot of money already. Um, and I just, I just wanted to help. It's something that's close to my heart. Obviously, as people know that have been watching this, people know in my personal life that I haven't been in a great place in the past few months. Cat's one of the people that's been there for me and hasn't... It's weird because she hasn't been pushing and asking questions and she's just there. How's your day been? How are you today? Little things like that, little messages like that, man. It helps people out and it lets them know that they're not alone and that there is people there that they can talk to if and when they want to. Simple things, man. And obviously, I'm wearing the other T-shirt now. Yeah, look. See this? Yeah. I don't joke. I don't lie about this shit. I make no make no apologies for sitting here and telling people that I'm not alright. How fucking stupid do you have to be to think that people are alright and are perfectly fine all the time? They're not, man. There is not one single human being on this earth that is perfectly fine all the time. Everyone has problems, everyone has issues, everyone has fucking shit that gets to them or beats them up or gets them down. Like, everyone, man. Everyone. Just because I'm an artist and I fucking stand on the other side of the stage and I perform to all the ravers does not mean that I am any less human. Alright? Just because I'm fucking man enough and I've got the balls to stand here or sit here and tell people that I've got problems doesn't mean that... I'm better than anyone or fucking any of that bollocks, yeah? It just means that I'm human. Everyone telling me that what I'm doing with this whole fucking competition and winning my t-shirt and blah, 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 telling me that that's amazing. That's not amazing, man. That's just... It's the very least that I can do for this. What Kat's been doing for years now is amazing. Off of her own back, putting on... Some people call them events, but they're not events. It's, it's a gathering. It's a gathering of like-minded people that want to help and raise awareness about the fact that people ain't on their own. I mean, fuck it, man. If you've got problems right now, you're going through shit in your life, hit me up. 
give me a shout. Just say, Jack, man, this is really getting to me. It's bugging me, man. I don't know if I can carry on. And I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what everyone else has been telling me. Give it time. She'll be all right. You might not be all right now. You might not be all right for a fucking long time. You might not be all right for 10 years. God damn. 10 years is a long time. But, eventually, you learn to bear the cross. There's things in life that fuck us up. There's things in life that make us happy. What we got to do is find them happy things. Latch on to them happy things and hold on tight. That's all it is. Now, as I've said, I will sit here and I will tell people that I'm not alright. Because I don't give a fuck, man. I don't care what people think about me. I never have. That's why I can walk out of my house wearing a teddy bear hat. That's why I can walk out of my house wearing my pyjamas and my slippers in the middle of the day on a Saturday when it's snowing. Because I literally give no fucks. <laughs> So, if I can sit here and go through a little bit of the pain, a little bit of the fucking hurt, and tell people that it's alright, and if you want to reach out, then reach out. Reach out to me, reach out to Kat. Kat's a, a brilliant listener. She's great at just being there, not even fucking hassling you to be like, oh, what's going on, man? None of that shit, man. It's great. Sometimes all people need is a friend. Sometimes all people need is to know that there's someone there that does fucking care. And in a world where there's seven and a half billion people that are all so focused on social networks and fucking being the best image that they can be, like, no one nowadays even talks about this shit. And that's so fucked up because mental health governs your physical health. Your brain and the chemicals in your brain govern the rest of your physical presence. If you're unhappy and you're sad and you're stressed out and you're anxious and you're depressed... Your brain produces more cortisol. And cortisol generates stress and anxiety and depression. Leading to unhappiness. It's a crazy fucked up cycle, man. And the only way to get out of that is positive. Whether you find the positives in a hobby. Or your work. Or the friends and family that do have around you. Or even... I don't know, if you're all alone in the world except your dog, and your dog is the one person, animal, item, thing that's there for you, you've still got someone. And that someone probably cares a hell of a lot more about you than most of the people in this world. So take that, use it, embrace it, make that your happy place. All I'm saying is find your happy place, people, that's what it's all about. But for the time being... For the next week, make your happy place my post on Facebook. Because on Facebook, most of the shit on Facebook is negative. Everybody knows it, but we still scroll it. Yeah? Don't bother. Go on Facebook, look at my post. See all the positive vibes that everyone's sending. All the people getting involved. All the other promoters and the ravers and everyone. All the people (laughs) hitting me up literally right now on my inbox. Sending me messages saying... I've got this that I can give you that you can give away in your competition. I've got this, I've got this, I'll, I'll give you this. It's like a snowball. Snowball of positivity. You sit at the fucking top of the mountain, you push your little snowball down there, and by the time it gets down to the bottom, it's an avalanche. Now that can be a happy avalanche. Or it can be a sad one. There's just no telling what way this shit's going to go, man. But unless you roll a snowball, you never know. So get out of there, build a fucking snowball and roll it, man. I'm going to give you three words because this is long already. It's like nine minutes. Um, Three words. Number one, ceremony. That's a straight home run. Number two, lads. Because you know you've got to love the lads. So that's two. Number three, avian. As in, of bird. (laughs) Smashed it. Right. I've definitely just sat here. And talked about how I feel for nine minutes. It's only nine minutes, man. I feel better already. Go on. Go find someone to listen. I'll see you next Tuesday.